Hello! I went to the bins a few times in the last few weeks and this Christmas with Norman Rockwell book is one of the great things I found. I think it was 24 cents. So we'll check this out and all the other great stuff I found in today's video. Here we go! I know that it's been a minute since I have created a video for this channel. I have just been really enjoying my holidays and I haven't been thrifting to be honest with you. Um, so I went thrifting one time about three weeks ago and I have that haul tonight. And then uh, Chris and I went to the bins a few times. So I'm gonna show you what I got from that one place. Uh, I did take a little footage, but it, there wasn't a ton there that day. So it was down in Mankato. So I'm not gonna bother with the footage or maybe I'll tuck it in at the end of the video for anyone who's interested in seeing that. Uh, but I will go ahead and show you the few things that I found, but it's just been chaotic. I hope that you've had lovely holidays. I've really been enjoying myself. All the kids are here. Maddie was staying in this room so I really didn't have access to my filming space anyway. So I just decided to take a few weeks off. So, but Chris and I are going, actually by the time you see this video, Chris and I are going to go thrifting tomorrow in Mankato again. So I was like, ooh, I really should get that other haul filmed before we go back to Mankato again to go thrifting. So uh, the only place I went to the last time we went was called Vine Home Thrift. That's one of my favorite stores down there. And there just wasn't a ton, I don't know, you know, maybe things start to pick up with thrift stores after the holidays when everyone's like got their New Year's resolutions and is trying to downsize. That's when the thrift stores seem to fill up. So I'm hoping for some good thrifting in the coming month or two. Anyway, so this was one of my favorite finds from the bins. We'll go ahead and start with the bins. This is Christmas with Norman Rockwell. And I love the illustrations. We put it on our coffee table for Christmas. It's a great coffee table, but look at this. I mean, it's just fantastic. And even for winter, I probably am going to put it in a book stand and uh, set it on a shelf somewhere because some of the illustrations are just really cool. This one's called Ice Skating Four Seasons Calendar from 1948. This one, Homecoming. Oh, that's sweet. That's so cute and classic, right? Okay, so then some other books Chris found. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh. I haven't looked up, like, is it valuable? I have no idea, but it's a dynamite magazine and it's an early one. It's from November 1977, volume one. So the first volume of it, number five, and it's got Rocky on the cover. I mean, Sylvester Stallone, how awesome is that? And it even has like its original, you know, like, advertisements and things. What does this say? I'm a, I'm a truly lucky and very special privileged person just to be able to stand in this room reading this chart and basking in the glory of a wonderful, fabulous, adorable, adorable, spectacular, unforgettable, absolutely 100% dynamite kid out of sight. <laughs> so that's what that says. So, uh, yeah. So I guess that was like a poster you could rip out and, you know, hang on your wall. But look at this. Willie Ames. I mean, how fantastic is this magazine? You know, and it's never been like drawn in. Like the, the game was never done. So pretty cool. Very excited about that. Um, yeah. Don't want to rip it. There's Sylvester Stallone. So that is really cool. Not sure what we'll do if we'll resell it or just keep it for funsies for now, but I'm happy to have it for now. Then we found the this for the shop and this is uh, this is a mention in Big Bang Theory Flatland. Uh, and so Chris wanted to get this for our our comic book room slash Big Bang inspired comic book room downstairs. So we're going to put that downstairs. This will probably go to the shop because we sell comic books at the Pink Elephant and Archie sells really well. This, oh, this is my favorite book that I found. Well, this and the Norman Rockwell. I probably like this better though. So it says a field guide to the birds. First of all, I love the color of the cover. I think it's beautiful. I do have the jacket. It's in pieces, but I, I picked it up. Chris actually found it in the bin. Whoops, see, it's like falling apart. Um, just so I could have it, I might try to tape it together, but I will probably display the book like this. But then it just has this really cool illustration in the beginning. And then it has some uh, pictures. Where's that? So it's just got some 
really cool pictures. And you know, I love birds and I love old books. So this was a perfect combination for me. Really happy to have this. And I'll probably use it in my decor. I think it'll be beautiful for the spring. Okay, I got this for the shop. These stitched pieces sell really well for me. This one says, cleaning and scrubbing can wait till tomorrow. For babies grow up, we've learned to our sorrow. So quiet down cobwebs, dust go to sleep. I'm rocking my baby and babies don't keep. So I thought that was really cute. $2.99 originally at Goodwill. I got it for not very much because it's pretty light and my bins are expensive. They're, I think, I think we've gone over this. It's like $2.19 a pound, $2.09, $2.19, something like that a pound. So, but still I didn't pay too much for it. Okay. And then some other things. I picked up this old bell pool. Um, I haven't decided if I'll keep this for my fall decor, but it'd be really pretty or if I'll sell it. Some people really love and collect these. So it is something I've sold some of, but I kind of like the colors in this one for fall. So haven't decided on that. And I got another stitched piece, which I'm actually going to reframe. I love the frame. They did a really crummy job framing it. <laughs> so what you actually, what I need to do is stretch it over. You, there's, you can do it over cardboard, foam board. There's this adhesive board specially made for cross stitch. I actually don't use that because it costs a fortune, but I will stretch it over a piece of board of some sort and actually do a better job framing it. And then I'll probably keep this for myself because I just like it. I think it's cute. A home should be clean enough to be healthy and dirty enough to be happy. Isn't that true? Okay, I got this because I love it. And I didn't use it for Christmas because it was here waiting to be hauled. But hey, you know, what can you do? So I thought that was really cute. That will be going into my collection for next Christmas. Sorry if you hear noise. Chris and Molly are out in the living room. Hannah is out with a friend. Uh, Maddie is on her way to Canada. You know, she has a boyfriend who lives in Canada. So she flew there tonight. And Gabe is playing Dungeons and Dragons with his friends um, who are all home from college. So we're, the three of us are here and Chris and Molly are hanging out. So anyway, I got this. It's probably originally from the Dollar Tree, but I thought it was really cute. So I got it for my floor for next year. Oh, shoot. <sighs> I meant to give this to Penny for Christmas and I completely forgot. So I'll probably go do that. Um, but it's just a, it crinkles and squeaks and it um, looks like a Fritos bag, but it says Fido's. So I thought that was pretty cute. She tears, uh, so if you're not familiar, Penny is our puppy and she tears up toys pretty um, quickly. So I don't think that will last very long, but she'll enjoy it. And you know, at the bins, it was probably 25 cents. So it's okay if she tears it up. I picked these up. I sell a lot of stickers at my shop. Um, I sell them for a dollar because I get them so cheap at the bins. And it's basically like old scrapbook sets of stickers. People still scrapbook. I was doing a lot of junk journaling, but I have enough stuff. So I just pick them up when I find them, sell them for a dollar. It rescues them. People are happy and I'm happy. Okay. Oh, these are some good finds. Oh, and then, oh my gosh, I have to insert footage. Actually, I'll do that right now before I forget. This was an absolutely amazing find. You might've seen it on Instagram. Here it is. Okay, one of my favorite finds from this bins trip is this box, <laughs> the box. It says shiny bright glass Christmas tree ornaments. And several of these are shiny bright. So these are, and they're really old. They're pro probably from what I read is pre-World War II because they say, you're not gonna be able to read it on here but they say made in the U.S. of A. So that was the mark on shiny brights before World War II when the tops were then made of cardboard and the hooks were also made of some kind of cardboard or something. And then after that, they started getting marked with shiny bright. But then these are also shiny brights and these are marked. So these are, these are newer. Anyway, so these are shiny brights. This is not, this is made in West Germany. I don't think you can read that either. And then this one says made in Japan. And then I'm going to show you one more shiny bright that I already hung on the tree. I love it so much. And I'm going to hang these on today. My favorite one that was in that box. It also says made in the US of A. And I just think it's so pretty with the flower on it and the pink translucent glass. Okay, so that was an amazing find and I feel like it was gifted to me. <laughs> 
because a lady literally handed it to me, which was fantastic. Then Chris found this. Isn't she so cute? Looks just like Holly Hobby. Um, it doesn't, it's not actually Holly Hobby, it says. Oh, it, it might be actually now that I see it. It says Guild House, but then <gasps> it says American Greeting Corp um American Greetings Corporation. But anyway, I think she's so cute. I love her. And she will be probably displayed in this room next year with my Holly Hobby stuff. Oh, I found two old spools of ribbon. They're always cool to pick up. This one is like a blue. So pretty. And then this one's a silver. Love, love, love. So those are cool. And I, of course, love, I just love the font, you know, so cool. So found those. And then the other cool thing I found for Christmas, this will go to the shop for next year, are these little home co wall plaques and they say joy. I think they're adorable. Totally 80s, right? Are they 80s? They must be. Made in the USA. Home co. It doesn't have a year. Hmm. Well, anyway, they look kind of like 80s to me. You know, when people decorate with teddy bears. So thought those were cute. Okay, Chris found these for me. I thought they were adorable. Oh, and I'm almost breaking one. Oh my goodness. They're just little pilgrims for Thanksgiving. Um, I thought they were cute. So I'll pick those up and those will go in my Thanksgiving decor for next year. And the other thing I found, which will go to the shop, is this old uh, baseball scorecard, scorebook. It was really cool. And it's just, you know, vintage, old vintage. I'll put this out for the spring. Someone might like this in a display or maybe they want to use it. I don't know. I do have, um, I have a little bit of baseball stuff I put out in April, but I don't think I'll keep this for myself. Mm. Anyway. Okay. So that is my bins haul. Let me do a little switcheroo and then I'm going to get the stuff that I got at the other, at the Vine Home Thrift and I'll show that to you next. Okay. Before I get to my other thrift haul, I remembered I wanted to show you some things that Chris went to the bins and found for me and gifted me on Christmas. He gave me a box full of bins treasures. Fun, fun, fun. So, and in that box were these bubble lights. So they're not old, but they work. And I'm so excited about them because my old, my vintage ones stopped working last year. So I'm really happy about these. He also found for me this, which was so fun. Oops, there go my bubble lights. They're still working though. Um, he got me this, which is so fun because this goes with my little, my little collection here. I'll have to hang it maybe like there. Um, so I thought that was really, really cute. And then I love this. I think it was meant to be an ornament, uh, but it doesn't have its hook anymore. So I will be put, look at this. I've never seen one like this before. They made a tree out of the, the plastic canvas, but then it's like got a shape to it. Isn't that cute? And like little beads on it. So he found that. He found this, which is so adorable. That'll go on the vintage tree. And then he found a bag of light reflectors, which I thought was fantastic. These are so fun. Really cool old light reflectors. So we're gonna get some bigger bulb lights and next year we'll use these um, on those. So that's the plan for these. And then I'm going to stick these on the smaller bulbs that I have. Um, so they're just, they just pop right on. I have something similar to these, but I think they're so cool. And I love light reflectors. They do a really nice job. And then, oh, two other things. He found me a Big Bang Theory ball. If you've been around a while, you know we love that show. So that'll go on our regular Christmas tree. And then something he bought for me at the Pink Elephant. Oh, amazing this old lunchbox i just love this it has its thermos look at this oh my goodness i'm pretty sure i had this as a kid isn't that adorable or something like it maybe a slightly later version this might be from the 70s not exactly sure i haven't looked it up but i love it and then the other thing he found in the bins though is her she's so cute totally vintage raggedy ann love her her little foot is a little little worn but look at she's got the cute little 
I love you printed on her. Isn't she so cute? Oh my gosh. I love her. So I will put her up here and I have, I'll show you. I have this little, little one. So now I have her. And then this is the only Andy I have. Um, he said he did look really hard for the Andy and couldn't find it anywhere. So anyway, so that's cute. That's my little collection so I was so happy with the things that he went to the bins and found for me I thought that was great okay now I'll show you what I got at the thrift store Vine Home Thrift where I'm going tomorrow so by the time you see this video I will have gone again and maybe hopefully found more stuff so I got these two records just because I thought the, the covers were fun children's favorites it's a Christmas one and I haven't tried them out yet, so but I do test the records before I sell them just to make sure that they work okay. This I thought was really just a funny cover. Really neat. And I think they were a dollar a piece. So those will both go to the shop. And then I also got for myself, this was like 50 cents. I love this. It's a vintage ornament, but I don't have any like this. I see them at the Pink Elephant and they're like six or eight dollars a piece. Like, I'm not spending that much, but I did spend 50 cents. So that'll go on my tree. And then I got these two to sell next year. Not this year. They were 50 cents a piece. But this one was really pretty. And this one. She might keep this one. I kind of like it. We'll see. We'll see. But I thought those were really pretty. And then... This will also be for Christmas time next year at the shop. It was $2.50 for this whole bag, and it says manger animals, but some of them are old. I thought they were really neat. So I've got a camel, and this is like not plastic. So but that was cool. And what else do we have? We have this one's made in Italy. Another camel. So that was cool. And probably from the same set, looks like it, a donkey. And then one of them is broken. Is it this one? I can't tell. Yeah, this is the one that's cracked. It's cracked. It's a horse. It's not re-glued, but it is broken. You can kind of see right along there is a crack in the finish. And then a cow or... I don't know, a bull? I'm not really sure. You can tell me. And this is made in Japan. So they're just really cool vintage manger animals. Another camel. This one says Japan. And um, this one says made in Italy. Some kind of sheep, ram, I don't know. And then some little baby sheep. I can't believe these aren't broken. They're just thrown in a bag. But this one is marked Japan. See that? So yeah, they were really cute. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, this one I'm keeping. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. Look at that teeny tiny baby one. So that one's staying with me because it's so tiny. And here, another one. And they're all like ceramic. They're not plastic, which is kind of neat. So, and what's this one? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. So yes, yeah, so that was a whole big bag of manger animals. I will put that in my stash for the shop for next year. All right, so that's all that I have for you today. I hope that you've been enjoying your holidays, whichever holidays you celebrate, and I hope you're getting ready for a super great new year. I will not have another video up probably until after the new year, I don't think. If I can cram one together and get one out this weekend of my thrifting adventures from today, I will. But if not, I will see you next week. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support in 2022. And I hope that we have a great 2023 together. And I will see you next time. Bye. I'm here in Mankato, Minnesota, and I'm going thrifting. Here we go.